24 hours a day with biometric sensors on or inside your body and they constantly send information. So you're monitored? Hmm? From, you are monitored? You're monitored all the, all the time. I think the interesting thing is when the chips start getting smarter and start having you know sensors and things like that. So um, instead of just opening a door, maybe I can have continuously record my my body uh, temperature, my uh, blood sugar levels, you know, etc., etc. We had these two big revolutions, the computer science revolution, or the infotech revolution, and the revolution in the biological sciences. And they are still separate, but they are about to merge. They are merging around, I would say, the biometric sensor. It's the thing, it's the gadget, it's the technology that converts biological data into digital data that can be analyzed by computers. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identity. <laughs> Corporation. This is the company that makes the implantable human microvision, which is a device about twice as long as a grain of rice. So it's actually pretty big. Um, that company came out with a press release a couple of weeks ago in which they claimed to be working on a flu detection microvision. Now, according to their press release and what they're discussing, they would have an injectable form of the microvision, again, a glass encapsulated device, fairly big, not the size of a speck of dust that could be injected into the body and it would continuously monitor the person's blood and if they were to detect the H1N1 virus or any other flu virus within the person's blood then it would be possible if you had a reader and held it right next to the person's body to pick up the signal about that uh, indicating that, that they had detected H1N1. What we want to do is detect an infection as early as possible uh, before someone even spreads it to another person to try to prevent that infection in the first place so that it never happens. But if it does, we detect and treat. And what we also might want to do is then make sure everybody else is protected. That dream now appears possible thanks to this tiny hydrogel biosensor. Placed under the skin, it measures what's going on at a tissue level. I want to move on to the micro which senses COVID in your body before symptoms and filters the virus from the blood before. It's being developed by the Pentagon. Um, your thoughts on this? Yeah, so, um, you know, all the conspiracy theorists out there, right, who went around saying, hey, they're, they're creating this microchip that's going to be inserted uh, into your body. It's going to come with the knees. And all these folks in the media were like, oh, you people are crazy. There's no microchip. Then the Pentagon comes out and says, hey, actually, we have a microchip. I think that's what scares me the most about this is like you were working on a chip to go into people's skin. By the way, it's coming from the Pentagon. It's not coming from a private medical firm. And I think that's, that's where right. my concern really is this one. So here's my question. The, the look into your, your future crystal ball, as I've so often asked yeah. you, Ben, if this shows to actually be accurate and it can predict it, do you think we could see a push that everybody, just like what we've seen with the mask, the knees, a push that you actually have to be my commissioner with something from the Pentagon? Could that actually happen in, in society today? The, the, the thing about this is you have to you have to have a crisis big enough for the public to be able to uh, accept whatever the solution is. It, you know, it can't be a half a big crisis. It's like Rahm Emanuel said a few months back. You know, the last thing you want to waste is a good crisis. Every time we turn around, there's a new crisis. There's an economic crisis. There's a war crisis. There may be a pandemic crisis. There's a crisis everywhere you look. <laughs> 